सो फाइनली ऑफिशियल मी यू आई ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट वन पॉइंट ओ स्टेबल वर्शन मी यू आई ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव एनहेंस्ड वर्शन इज एवर रेड मी नोटेड यूजर इफ यू रेड मी नोटेड यूजर दिस वर्शन इज नाउ ऑफिशियली रोल आउट फॉर द ग्लोबल डिवाइसिज विच इज समथिंग रियली इंटरेस्टिंग बट वन थिंग इवन माइंड दिस इज अ पायलट अपडेट मी पायलट अपडेट वाइल मेकिंग दिस वीडियो मे बी यू विल गेट दिस अपडेट वेरी वेरी सोन इन वन डे टू डे मे बी लेट बिट मोर बट दिस इज वट वी हैव राइट नाउ मी वाई ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट वन ग्लोबल स्टेबल यू आई एनहेंस्ड एडिशन बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉड वर्जन इलेवन इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड एंड द थिंग इज यू हैव द अक्टूबर सिक्योरिटी पैच डिसम्बर इज गोइंग ऑन अक्टूबर सिक्योरिटी पैच इट वॉज कांड ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेड फ्राम शॉमी बट दिस इज वट वी हैव राइट नाउ बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉड वर्जन इलेवन इट्स गुड सम फीचर्स विच वर एक्सपेक्टेड आर फाइनली हेयर लेट्स अस टॉक अबाउट ऑल दोज फीचर्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस पेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यूर एबल टू सी द कंट्रोल सेंटर ब्लर विच इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट यूजफुल एंड रेड बी नोडेड यूजर्स इवन विद एंड्रॉड वर्जन इलेवन अपडेट ऑन मी यू आई ट्वेल्व इट वॉज इवन नॉट देयर द ब्लर वॉज नॉट देयर दर वॉज अ ग्रे बैकग्राउंड बट एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट राइट नाउ वी डोंट हैव दैट ग्रे बैकग्राउंड वी हैव द ब्लर बैकग्राउंड दिस सीम्स टू बी एक्चुअली क्वाइट गुड क्वाइट यूजफुल आई थिंक सो but it's all about users opinion some users will definitely not use control center because of the speed performance and something like that other things you can see if you're able to see navigation bar pill is also there the range items in recent which means the horizontal recent are also there floating windows is also there so yes at least no features compromised here which was expected and yes it's finally here xiaomi can do some unexpected things of course but yes it was expected it's still let me show you some interesting things about this one for example if i try to uninstall some system apps get apps gallery these would not be uninstalled unfortunately even not the fm radio but some apps which were not expected for example the compass which was of course non removable uh, before these updates you can simply click this remove and it will just delete it from home scene of course it will not properly uninstall but it is quite better than you just can't do anything but this one is good if you want to uninstall some apps even you can uninstall the calendar app you can uninstall these apps that's good this is quite good and you have uh, the uh, the thing you have the ability to simply delete these apps from this one that's good something is quite interesting even if you want to delete other apps for example this one you have the uninstall option if you can uninstall those this is not a system app but system apps the one thing me browser you cannot uninstall even you can't remove this this should be there because i don't think so you will use me browser at any case but even screen recorder can be uninstalled i think so screen recorder should be there but as yes, it can be uninstalled if you want to you can uninstall other apps i already shown you you can even uninstall the scanner app from here so these things you get here Game Turbo unfortunately is not the new one and if you already using Global Stable or India Stable you already didn't got that latest Game Turbo which you get in China with the maybe Game Turbo 4.0 that's not there but if you want to install that manually you can how you can install that simply install the latest security app and you're good to go you have the latest Game Turbo available there but unfortunately we don't have this one right now by default even no voice changer which was expected of course This was about the game turbo another thing which we have is the video toolbox that is also not the new one it's also kind of old one old one which means same ui the floating windows apps already there but the new one has a different ui and as i previously mentioned if you want to get those new ui things better to install the latest security beta app and those features will be there for you which you can install manually without having any issues and if you want the detailed video you can comment below i will try to make a video on those things if you want to only just comment below then i will try to let me show you some things for example if you move to the camera section you have the new ui same kind of things no extra features unfortunately not a single feature added in the camera section let me note it right now um i don't think so it feels better while using this because a lot of devices the new devices are in the market and 48 megapixel even with this maybe 2 years old device it's not that kind of helpful let me show you some other things for example the control center style yes this is also there if you have noticed in my previous videos the previous update videos this option like control center style was hidden from there you can search for it but it was not available there that was maybe a bug but right now it's not there you can simply move on to the notifications and controls and click on control center style and you can use the old version or newer version and as i just shown you that the blur is also there It was a grey background, but yes, finally we have blur available, which is actually feels good. Other things, yes, the gesture bar indicator, 
it's also there if you don't want that you can hide this but of course if you don't need this why would everyone cry for this a lot of users were crying for this thing but it's there and yes it's quite helpful for multitasking for app switching it's good miui is not for multitasking but yes some users will definitely use this and this is miui enhanced edition so yes it was expected that you have the battery modes available for you which means balance performance power this looks good and it was expected that we have the available in miui 12.5 enhanced one thing keep in mind the things which i am showing you right now is everything which you get in this update nothing i have installed manually nothing i've modified so far these things you get by default with this update because this is miui 12.5 enhanced edition enhanced edition stable version even not the beta version so yes you can install it without unlocking bootloader but this is only available for the global beta users global devices and also if you're a pilot test another thing which is included is the memory extension feature and yes it was expected if they announced that they will release this officially and yes so far it's officially available called memory extension very interesting thing and these were things these were all about this new update things and if you want to write out this update on your device you can if you have unlocked bootloader you can install from custom recovery if you have locked bootloader check out if you have the update or you will get OTA very soon goodbye Yeah